Hello, this is Tyler Parsons with Killing Golf. Today I wanted to bring you a quick little lesson that I had earlier this morning. Now, the main thing that we focused on with the player was we were wanting to change the path. He was coming across it, losing a little distance, and had a little bit of a wipe. But what we're able to do is using the swing catalyst force plate, I was able to quickly identify and show him where he was getting with his pressure on his trail leg and start to quickly make a change. So the one on the left in position A is going to be one of his first swings. So we have an elbow plane line drawn. We can see as he takes it back and gets to the top that he's up to 60% of pressure on that trail leg. So not a bad number by any means. Um, he's able to load a little bit, but not what we'd like to see. Um, we can really start the pin and see that his hip is actually a little limited um, due to how he's loading up, which is restricting also his shoulder turn. In return, his hands are not as high as we'd like. Now, one of the big things that we pointed out for the player is that he's getting bound up as a result of all this. So what I was able to do was show him a proper way to turn and load, and we can start to see as he gets up to the top, now he's up to that 85%. We can see that the leg is much straighter, not near as much flex. Made it a lot easier for the hip to rotate around that trail leg. He also was then able to get his shoulder behind the ball quite a bit more, which made it a lot easier for those hands to get high up to the logo. And then again, we can point out this elbow. And now we have some nice little spacing in through there. He doesn't look as confined and restricted. It's going to make it a lot easier for him to separate and drop that club down onto the intended plane. So we'll go back to the one on A, and we can see as he comes down, it's not a, a terrible path by any means. Hands are in a decent spot. Club's kicking out. We can see that, again, he's, he's just pulling and wiping across that a little bit. And we go over to B, and what's so great about this is we – I did not give him any direction as far as – changing the path at this point. Um, all that I really talked about was loading up properly to get into that good position. But now we can see the club being slightly under plane. It's still going to kick out just a little bit. But again, very impressive that we made such a big change to the swing plane um, without having to worry about any of that. One of the other extremely helpful things I'd like to point out um, since everyone is really talking about ground force right now, with his vertical ground force, the way he was loading before, he's at 152. Whenever we changed and loaded him over quite a bit more, we see a nice significant jump up to 187. So now he's into our nice shaded area, producing a lot more ground force, hitting much better positions, able to change that path, and overall is going to start playing a lot better golf as a result.